Hey everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some design team projects to share with you and these are from the DIY Art Bin store on AliExpress. I'll leave links to all of the products that I use down below in the description box. They recently sent me a big package of Halloween and Christmas dies. Super cute. If you'd like to do paper piecing, then you'll really like these dies. Um, I love to just sit down and work on a set and watch it come together and it's really fun for me and I hope you guys enjoy what I made. So I did not use any of the Halloween dies yet. Uh, I'll get to those in a future video but I did uh, I did make a few Christmas projects so I'll show those to you but first I'm going to show you the dies that I did not use yet. I will put up a picture from their website to show you what it looks like when it comes together. So let's go ahead and do that. I just want to show you the card that they send with their orders. DIY art bin store. Really nice uh, owner and uh, I ne I've never had a problem with any of their dies. That's why I'd like to be on their design team. All right, so the first one is this set. And the good thing about DIY art bin store is you can leave their dies all together uh, when, when they come like this. That's what I like to do because there are small pieces and I don't like to misplace them. So I just leave them uh, all put together and that's a good way to not lose anything. So anyway, this one is a Halloween gnome, I'm pretty sure. And it has a gnome that's carrying a jack-o'-lantern and then he has a hat with a ghost face on him. So it's it's adorable and you know, I'm not the biggest gnome fan, but I think this is really, really cute when I saw it on the website. It's got that cute little ghost thing there too, I think. So yeah, very, very cute. Um, I'll measure it quick. It's kind of hard to measure it because it's not all put together, but the gnome itself is about two inches and then the hat is two inches as well. So there's that one. And then another Halloween one is this ghost. And this one has a moon in the background. Of course, you could use that circle die for anything. And you know, you do actually want to cut these uh, this part out of the circle so it doesn't cut all these little pieces out of your circle die cut. But um, this uh, ghost has antlers and like a garland around his head. And let's see, there's a spider, flow or flowers. Yeah, it's kind of like a, like a crown, not really a garland, but it's very interesting. And there are bats you can cut out to put like around the moon. So use it all together, use it separately. The ghost itself is uh, two and seven eighths about long and two inches wide. And then the circle die is two and a half inches. So it's always nice to have another circle. You know, sometimes you need just that size. So, and that spider is actually pretty cute. Nice little flowers you can use on anything again. So there's that. And then I think this is the last Halloween die. This one is a Halloween hot air balloon. And it has a jack-o'-lantern face for the, for the balloon part. And then it has these cute little ghosts that you can have popping out of the basket or flying around the balloon. And this is the basket that goes under the balloon. And then there are like strings and other, you know, embellishments, a little moon. I really like this. Uh, I would probably, well, instead of making it just the, you know, the whole scene, I would probably use the elements individually, but I think it's really, really cute. So there's that one. And then for the Christmassy ones that I did not use, there's this snowman. And this is really cute. It's kind of a different style that DIY Orpin Store usually does. But it's the snowman has the cutest face. He has, I think these are his big like feet and there are wings and a halo. So it's like a snow angel. Super cute. I can't wait to make this one. I just ha didn't have time to make everything I wanted to make yet. Um, oh, let me measure that one. The snowman itself is about two and five eighths tall and about two and three quarters wide. And then of course with the embellishments, it becomes a little bit bigger. This is cute. These are little Santa mugs. There's two different ones and they are about, about two and a half inches long and one and seven eighths inches tall. And they have cute little vintagey faces. What's nice about these is they emboss where everything 
needs to go. So the layering pieces, the eyes and the nose and whatever other pieces are on here, you'll know exactly where to put them once you cut them out. So I do like this. It's very, very cute. Here's like a layering piece for the for the handle. So you can make that a different color without having to cut it apart from the main piece. So that's adorable. Looking forward to making that. I did make a couple of mug die cuts that they did send me, but I just, I'll just i get to those in a second. All right, the last one to show you that I did not cut out yet is this one. And this is a vintage little snowman with the sled. It's so adorable. The snowman itself is, again, about 2 and 7 eighths inches tall and about 2 inches wide. This sled is really nice. Uh, it's a three and a quarter inches long and one and a quarter inches tall. So of course you can use that for, for this die set, but you could also use it in other scenes as well. I could see like cute little penguins or something on there. And there are all these embellishments, of course. So, you know, use them the way you'd like to do it. Adorable, right? Okay, so those are the ones that I did not get to yet, but I wanted to show them in case you wanted to go ahead and order them because Halloween crafting is, and Christmas crafting are upon us, so. All right, so this is the first one that I made. And this is, oh, I left a little piece of paper in there. But this is a little snowman and he's holding a poinsettia and he's got a top hat. Um, he's got all the embellishment pieces, a scarf and little layering pieces as well. So let me show you what I made. I made a cute little vintagey looking card and this is it. Isn't he, isn't he cute? I love the little expression on his face. I used that white paper pad that I just got from Hobby Lobby recently. It's all white but has different patterns on it with a you know kind of like a gloss. So I used two different ones for two different um, you know elements. So for the snowman I used the polka dot and then for the snow I used this other little print. So I thought that still gave the impression that they're both snow but you know it kind of distinguishes them from each other using a different pattern. So then I used the black paper pad from Hobby Lobby to make this scarf. The, for the hat itself I just used a black gloss in my stash and actually I forgot to do there's a band See there, there's a space there for a band. Um, there is a layering piece for a band on the hat, but I forgot to put it on there. So I'll have to go back and do that. But I used also the white for the little snow bits on his hat. I used some like aqua shimmer paper for the, for the stem with the leaf. I used some pink embossed paper for the poinsettia and white again for the, for the little inside of the flower. And those are all, all dye pieces that come with the set. It was easy to make the face cute because those pieces come with the die set. And let's see, this snowman, let's, well, I guess from the hat to the foot, it's about three and a quarter inches. And then width wise, it's about two and a half. So a nice size for an embellishment or a element on a card front or something like that. This is a, a two size card. So as you can see, it fits well and you can add a couple more things and it's not too busy. I added the piece on earth. Those are Tim Holtz chipboard pieces. And I added some star enamel dots I had for my stash. Um, I cut out this background paper with a die that I have in my stash and the same for the for the snow on the bottom. I use that Hobby Lobby black embellished paper from uh, for the card base as well. So yeah, isn't that pretty? I love the, you know, the simple colors, but there are nice patterns and textures, so it makes it interesting. Uh, the inside, I just left it like that for now. I'm sure I'll add a sentiment eventually. So um, yeah, I hope you like that. Of course, the poinsettia you could use for other elements as well. The poinsettia itself is about two and a half inches wide and about, about one and a half inches tall. So yeah, there he is. Hope you like them. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, this is one of the mug dies that I did use and you'll know why I did once you see it. Isn't that the cutest little face? It's a gingerbread mug and he has whipped cream with little cutouts of sprinkles and then it comes with a candy cane you could stick in there, eyes, um, layering pieces for the candy cane if you want. I usually don't use those. I just cut it out of pattern paper. 
uh, that's a nose embellish or layering piece and here is some icing so isn't that really really cute oh you can use that in all sorts of different ways but let me show you what i did i made a card and here he is um, i used my favorite almond cream basil paper for the cup and then i edged it with vintage photo distress oxide just to make it look like a baked cookie even though it's a gingerbread or even though it's a uh, gingerbread mug so the mug itself is not quite two and a half inches tall and it's about three inches wide the face is just so cute, isn't it? I cut out the eyes from the die set twice, uh, one with the black gloss and one with the white glitter paper that I used on the other elements. So I just took the little cutouts and put them into the center of the eyes and it just, you know, makes it look like highlights on the eyes. Um, for the for the whipped cream, instead of embellishing the little sprinkle embossed parts that, that are created by the die set I glued on some clay bits and you could still you know see those embossed parts very well and I think it just adds a nice texture and dimension to it for the candy cane like I said I don't usually do paper piecing I just used a striped piece of paper and just cut it in a way that it would look like candy cane stripes um, for the rest of it I used a cup of cheer stamp that I had in my stash and I embossed it with some silver embossing powder I used this die this tag die is from scrap diva designs I use her tag dies all the time for things like this and this is a doodle bug paper in the back I just think that little gingerbread face goes well with the gingerbread face on the mug so yeah i hope you guys like that i think this is a super cute card that's the inside i had a little extra white glitter candy cane so i just glued that onto the inside of my card and this card i think it's about four four and a half inches square so adorable right i love this one okay so that's my second project the next one is this die set and this is another one of the vintage lady dies that diy orphan store has been having lately i made a um, <clears throat> card the last release and this one i made a tag and uh, it's super cute on the example on their website but i did a different color palette i went with the with the pinks and aquas again which i like to do especially for vintage product or projects so this is what i made isn't she pretty it was really easy to put together i cut it out of again that white paper from hobby lobby and then some pink shimmer paper as well and i just paper pieced it together all the elements are there for you <clears throat> i did use the little cutouts of the holly leaves and i used some aqua shimmer paper for that those those come in the die set the little holly leaves and you can add little circles from the die set as well but i did use diamond dots little pink diamond dots for there and for the buttons on her dress or coat i used some silver diamond dots for her face um, i just used an alcohol marker to color in the lips and then it's kind of hard to tell but i did use some jean davenport uh, pastels to do her cheeks and yeah everything else just cuts out from the dye even her little shoes so super cute right and i was watching with love brie and she had some really good ideas to use diamond dots a lot on her tags usually for things like this i would use nouveau drops but i decided to um uh, use her idea and add some diamond dots to the centers of the snowflakes just every now and then and I think they look really nice and they pick up on the the one on the um, on the woman herself let it snow is from a paper pad that I had I just cut it out and glued it on to the tag this tag that I've had in my stash for a long time I added an eyelet and just some simple pink satin ribbon and I think it's a really pretty vintagey looking tag the woman herself with her hat on and everything I won't count the the, the ribbons but from the top of the ribbons to her feet is about four and a quarter inches long and then widthwise, it's about two and a quarter inches wide more or less so really pretty you can do her dress or you know her dress and her coat in different patterns for different seasons you don't have to make it a Christmassy one if you don't want to so very cute and versatile and I love the little expression on her face you don't really have to do anything because it embosses and cuts out little parts for you so you don't have to draw anything so I like that so there's that one 
Okay, my last project today is another mug project. This one I really liked. I thought it was very interesting because it comes with the mug, but then it comes with a like a sweater layering piece for the mug. And it also comes with whipped cream, again, with like sprinkles embossed. And then it, uh, it kind of like cuts slits here so you could stick the little elements in there, which is really nice. It comes with this heart cookie die, uh, these pretty leaves, these straws, or I, I actually use them as like cinnamon sticks, so I'll show you that, and then some berries as well. Again, you can use these elements all together or use them separately in your other projects. So let me show you what I made. Here's the tag. Again, I use pastel Christmassy colors, and I cut the mug itself out of some um, Joann's paper, some aqua paper with the white polka dots. And then for the sweater part around it, I cut it out of, also from Joann's, it's like a pink glittery texture paper, but the dye it makes all these little like cut lines too to make it look like a sweater, which is really nice. I cut the whipped cream out of some white glitter paper and all those embossed lines are in there already. I did not embellish them anymore. I didn't think they needed it at all. Um, for the cookie part, I cut those out of almond cream. I cut them out a few times. And then I added some white gel marker for the for the like icing of the of the hearts. And then I added some glossy accents and then sprinkled them with sugar just to make them look like actual cookies. I cut the leaves out of that that aqua shimmer paper and then I used pink shimmer paper for the little berries. For the background, this is a round charcuterie board die from Scrap Diva Designs again. I'd love to use these dies as tags. And I did use uh, an embossing folder and on some pink shimmer paper, um, the embossing folder is Snowflake, so I thought that would be a nice background for this. Snowflake Kisses is a um, stamp from, I think it's from Snow and Coco. So I stamped that and embossed it again with, or yeah, I embossed it with um, silver embossing powder and heat embossed it. I love, I love that it has the little heart in between snowflake and kisses there. So yeah, I just thought that was a really cute um, way to use this die set. This is These are the cinnamon sticks. I, I don't know, I thought they were too skinny to use for a straw. Um, I don't know, with two of them, I think it looks more like cinnamon sticks. If I wanted to make it look like a straw, I would just use one of them, I think, or maybe even use a um, thicker straw that I have in my stash. So, and then I just tied like a, a pink organza ribbon on the top and the back I used, this is some paper from, what's it called, Mackenzie Christmas or something like that. It's a really pretty paper pad that I have. So, oh, and then I used, I have like a plate die in my stash. So I cut that out of some foil, some silver foil paper and just put that under the cup because I wanted to add the cookies. So I thought the, the plate would ground that. It doesn't come with the die set itself. So this one, the top of the whipped cream to the bottom of the cup is about three and a quarter inches tall. And then widthwise, it's about two and a half inches wide. The cookies, if you want to know that, they're about seven eighths inches long and about five eighths inches across. So I love to make cookies with dies, and uh, this is a good way to make them. I think this would be a great like a uh, Valentine's Day die too. I think you know, make it look like a make it like red or something like that, and you can use these these heart cookies as embellishments for that. So lots of possibilities and fun ways to use that. Oh, sorry, not my camera. All right, so those are all of my projects today. I hope you like them. I'll be back with more projects using some of the other dies that I showed without projects. But uh, yeah, the links will all be down below in case you wanna order. And thanks so much for watching. I'll be back soon with more crafty videos. Until then, I hope you have a great day. Bye everybody.